Today, we're going to cover the Pharos Universal Print Scout application. This application is used by staff members, such as teachers, front office staff, and administrators at the CEC North, South, and other support staff and administration at the CCESE main facilities or campus. In order to print, we have migrated to the Pharos Cloud Printing Solution. On a Windows-based device, in order to access the Ferris Universal Print Scout application, we now need to click on the Chevron for the first time, then click on the Ferris Universal Print Scout application with a left click. At this point in time, your web browser may redirect you to a login that asks for you to enter your email address and to allow Ferris integration. If you are prompted to do so, please feel free to go ahead and do this required option. The required option links your email address for the Gmail workspace account for Claremont County Educational Service Center to Pharos Cloud Printing, as our cloud services are now hosted at Pharos. Directly after you link your account for the first time, or you have come in to access the application for a second time, you'll notice this screen here appears. The direct print screen allows you to see what printers or what we're calling global printers have been assigned to your device. This is one singular difference than what the Chrome web based extension provides. We are able to populate a list of printers based upon your location of your device. If your location of your device is CEC South, the upper floor, you should see lists, a list of printers that corresponds with the general area that your device is located in. In my particular case, you'll see that I'm on the second floor of the CCESE main campus, and I have already gotten a pre-populated list of printers that are available to me. At any given time, if these, these printers are sufficient, I can change my default. So if I wanted the Suite 100 workroom printer to be my default, I could hover over it and change it. Or if I wanted the Suite 208 small meeting room printer to be my default, I could hover over it and click the star as this is my closest available printer. Once I do that, you'll see that my default printer has switched. At any given time, if I scroll up and down my list of pre-populated printers and I do not see the specific printer that is closest to me, which sometimes I fully expect to see, I would click the Add button. If I click the Add button, then I see a screen that allows me to search printers either by location on the left and be able to click those options and select that option, or I can actually type in the name of the printer. I prefer to click because I view it as easier and be able to browse the actual printers. So if I'm at CEC South, but I don't have the computer lab uh, printer available to me, I can click the lower level on the left after I expand its option by clicking the little down, the little arrow to the right, as you notice. And then I can click the lower level, and then I can click on the CEC South Computer Lab and add that printer. It's as simple as that to add a printer or remove a printer with the Ferris Cloud Printing Solution. There's no more managing of drivers, waiting for things to install, and worrying about legacy printing support. In order to print or to change the default, and I want to print to, let's say, the computer lab, I'm going to switch my default. My default printer is just going to be my printer that's closest to my general area that I'm working in. So for today, I'm going to switch my default back to the CCESC Suite 208 small meeting room printer. And since I didn't switch it, you'll notice the star here, and that is my current default. To print to that application, I would just open up any one of the apps that I've traditionally used in the past. This particular time, I'm just going to open up Microsoft Word. Click that app, and I'm going to create a small test page here to just test my progress. And I'm going to hit File, Print. And then you'll notice that I have my traditional printing selections that I've always had available to me. So in this particular case, you'll see that my default went to the Suite 208 desk. SMR, which is a small meeting room. I'll select that and you can notice the available options that I have. The small meeting room printer does not have necessarily stapling and the other effects, but if I was to print to it, you'll see that I actually have the same printing capabilities that I've always had. 
This helps to solve the traditional issues that we've been having problems with at CCESC. Thank you. This concludes our demonstration.